Hello, so I uh, came back, had a quick look there. Uh, for one, we can obviously see that uh, these aren't working properly up here. So what I need to do is select these beams that these are bearing on. So for one, I'm gonna get rid of these ones. And two, I'm gonna put in the beam system again, save the project. Uh, I guess I don't have any name for this project, which is a habit I have. So let me just go in here. Uh, I'll just put it in here. I should put that the other way around, right? Save that. And then add the beam system. It's still on the 8K10. So that's fine. Now the beams that it's bearing on are these ones. So let's just go back to the 3D. Let's pick this beam. This beam. This beam. It's kind of hard to see that they're highlighted, which I don't like. I guess you can see it. The, the lines around the beam seem to disappear. Uh, so I believe the start level offset and the end offset cut back justification. Minus 2.5, I think. Apply. So, of course, I forgot to put inches again. Minus 2.5 inches. We'll bring those beams, but we, at least we can see those beams did move. So, let's see if that looks right. I think that's right. I think this is a two and a half inch seat. Uh, okay, so that's good. Let's just check with this if it tells us here. Uh, no, it doesn't tell us. Uh, line dimensions. And we don't have the option to measure. So what we can do is go to the east profile and let's go to a north profile and let's zoom in here and we can see that we're pretty good and if we do a measurement from here to here it is two and a half okay so we're pretty good so east okay I think that's a graphics issue, if you can see there what's going on. All right, so let's see if we can put in a connection. Let's see if we select this beam and this beam. Let's first go to structure. We're gonna to go to small arrow to load connections. So I probably shouldn't have selected them first. So let's do base plate and clip angle, clip angle skewed. Double side clip. End plate. Gable wall end, gusset plate, one diagonal. And moment dent, moment flange, moment railing post, railing handrail joint, shear plate, add 
I mean, to be fair, I should just add them all, but I won't. <coughs> all right, so now we have some connections. So if I pick this one, and then pick this one, and go to structure, connection, it's going to put in a connection. It's going to put this one as the main, and this one as the secondary, which is good. And then on this one, I'm going to want to have this. Let's put this one in as a clip angle. So it's going to work away and it's going to give me this offering up here. So it's a clip angle. Edit type. Modify parameters. So here are the parameters cut back. I'll do 0.75. Uh, clip weld. I don't want to weld the clip. Top cope from. This doesn't really matter right now. From main flange. 0.75. But I'll set it up in case I'm going to use it for another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these up. So if I copy it to another situation, I can use it. All right, so 0.75 is not going to work because I need to put in inches. So same here. It looks like advanced steel kind of, but it's not advanced steel. So I just need to be careful with that. Bolt parameters, I want these to be 364. Clip angle is, I want it to be a 4x4. Four 4x4 four. Four by 4 by 3.8. Okay, you can see this should change. And bolt back 2.5 inches. And uh, two point five inches. Vertical bolts, uh, that's good. Slotted holes, shim plates, okay. Apply. Now, you can see that I've messed up my cutback because then I put in 0.75, right? So let's go to edit type again, and the cutback is going to be at 9 inches, and that's why we have that problem. So 0.75 inches, and that'll bring that back over. Modify range of applications. Uh, no entry selected, okay. Apply. Okay, and there we have our connection in. Now with this one here, I'm going to do a shear connection. So, uh, I'm obviously not used to this, but I don't feel like this is as good as advanced steel for putting in connections. So we can have a look and we want to put in a shear plate, right? So let's do shear plate and then edit type. So I'm going to want to cut this back quite a bit. So let's, let's see. 0.75 inches top cope so anyone that's familiar from main flange 0.75 that's so what I'm gonna do is the beam cut I'm gonna cut it back four inches <coughs> sorry so uh, Oh, 
I guess there's something I wish there's something I'm doing wrong because I should be able to see this updating as far as I know as I go right so uh, I've done four inches is there so let's go to bolts horizontal bolts I want this to be four inches plus the inch and a half so I can make this six inches and I've made this six feet as you can see over here so let's make it six inches I'd like to be able to see it in the model and you can see my cutback is four feet instead of four inches okay and then okay apply so that's if you want to have an extended clip so okay so now you can see we have an extended clip here it's not ideal right there because you can actually fit this in so you probably just want to cope out the bottom flange so let's just see and have a look if we can do that this also you can see has bevels cut on it which we don't want so go back into edit type and go to plate shape plate and bolt plate layout rectangular uh, plate shape sorry it's going to be default and let's go back to our cuts beam cut let's make this one in, uh, 0.75 inches and then plate and bolts horizontal bolts will make this 2.5 inches and then we want to do cuts and stiffeners bottom cup bottom cup so i guess this is our best bet for looking at this so bottom cup we want to be able to put this beam down from the top so i want to cut out this bottom part so cut and flush and i just want to do on the left side no actually i want to do on the right side there you go so that's what we want to do that should be fine uh let's go back an inch from the main flange uh an inch not a foot okay now these values shear plate so rename i won't get into this renaming now i really want to duplicate the original one right so let's just leave this one the way it is for now uh, so i did not apply that change so now am i going to have to do that again i guess i am let's just see i guess i messed that up oh man 0.75 yeah all right so i messed that up so i'll do it again 0.75 bottom cup uh cotton flush one inch from the right one foot from the right and not on the top so auto cup bottom uh, cut and flush right one inch and then the plate horizontal 2.5 inches again i did feet i thought i pressed it sorry 2.5 and that looks a little better okay apply okay all right so now if i select this and do copy multiple the copy from there over to here over to here don't ask me how but it seems to know what you want to do 
Now, if I want to do it on the other side, no, it's just trying to do a second one there. All right, so we've added some connections there. Now, same with this one. If we want to copy from here to here to here. Uh, elements were deleted. Okay, so we've got a couple in there. Now, let's see if we pick, pick this one. We do mirror. Copy structural connection. It's not giving me a good working point here, so I'm going to have to. Mirror draw axis, let's see. No, so I'll have to work my way through that. So that's how you put in some connections. Uh, I don't know, I guess. Uh, is there a way? Yeah, I'm just trying to see if there's some way to try and add all the connections. Propagate connection, let's see what happens. So this is also available in Advanced Steel. Uh, we can see that it has propagated the connections pretty well, but all the connections are on the one side, unless you want to change them. So again, select this one and go to Propagate Connections. I don't know if this propagates just by floor. Because there's none on this floor down here. So I guess if we copy this, let's see if we copy this down from here. It's not allowing me to copy down, right? All right, so if I go in and select this one, and select this one, go back to structure, connection, and if I pick clip angle, will it come in with that same clip angle? It looks like it comes in with that same connection. And then if I select this, if I go into this one here, Let's pick this one and this one. And let's do connection again. It's coming in with a connection, so let's come here. Clip angle. I see what it comes up with. It comes up with that connection, so edit type. And then let's see if we duplicate. Two holes, and then edit the type, and do vertical bolts. Everything else should be the same, apart from two holes. OK. Now, I just cancel out that. Don't ask me why. Because I'm a moron, uh, and it <sighs> and it removed that. So okay, edit value. Back into again what I just did. Let's go here now. It's shown a column. Hmm. Unusual. Is that connection? A connection is to this beam. It's not to that column. Alright. 
so it's not seeing the relationship properly. Vertical bolts two. Okay. Now you could move it down a little, but it looks fine. So let's select this and propagate connection. Now, I don't like to propagate connections, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see what happens. See, it's propagated connections here now, and it's going to put two connections over each other. So that's not what we want to do. So we want to back out of that. Uh, so let's see if we copy these. So if we select this, go to copy. And let's say we select this and then this one. We don't seem to be in the ballpark there. So let's try again, copy. Now, I should probably not be trying to copy these in a 3D view, but let's just see where we get with this. So we've got some of them in there, so that worked. And now what we can do is like we can probably propagate this giant. Give it a minute and it's worked its magic. A little nervous about these propagating giants, as I said, but uh seems to be going okay. So then here we have an issue. Uh, we can see once we put a connection on the other end, it has extended this beam, it seems. So what we'll do is we'll do the double connection here. So if we select this and this and this, go back to structure, connection, select the drop down, double sided clip angle is the only option. And we can see we have a clip here. So we're going to edit type. And double sided clip angle. Let's zoom in here. Duplicate this. Clip angle. Three holes, we'll just call it. Okay. Edit. And we want this to be four by four by three eight. All the same, complete Welch and plate, no copes, top cop. All right, so we want to make these the same. Uh, main flange, 0.75 inches. Uh, inside secondary, 0.75 is good. Then the bottom for main flange, 0.75, inside secondary, top, same thing, main flange, 0.75, okay, distance inside three quarters, top, one more time, a little monotonous with this one, but just get it right the first time, you don't have to worry about it later. Inside a secondary, I'm not sure why that is less. Uh, what was this? 0.75. This was also 3.875 because that was the K value, I think. And then bolts, we want bolt parameters to be TC bolts and horizontal bolts to be 2.5 and 2.5. And staggered setting, we don't need that in this instance. If 
vertical bolt number is two and we can see we don't have any bolts here right now so edge distance 1.5 so 1.5 inches 1.5 inches and bolt parameters so main is that side shop shop so let's go back to angles welds no angles so we should be good okay uh, it's not letting me apply so my bolts have disappeared for some reason so let's go back in to check usually the bolts only disappear if you put a weld in Weld, non, 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 shim plates, non, non, corpse. Alright, so look, I put in the amount of bolts wrong, I guess, did I? Horizontal bolts, one, odd uh, distances. Again, the problem, 2.5 inches. Horizontal bolts, 2.5 inches. Learn from my mistakes. <coughs> Staggered setting, you don't need that for this one. And that should be good. Check the holes. Man. Bolt parameters. I'm trying to see where the hole tolerance is. I won't worry about it for now. I should, but I won't uh, apply. There's my bolts back, and there we go. All right, so now we should do this connection first. Let's hope it doesn't put one in here. If I click on this and go to propagate connections, let's see what happens. You can see this is working, this is working. I hope this is not working, okay. So that's good. So it's put in those connections. So now what I can do is possibly go back to this one and propagate connection and see if it'll just bring these in over here. See, it's attempting these ones. Uh, hopefully it won't do these because they're going to clash. Uh, I don't think it did them anyway. So you can see we've got quite a few connections in there. Uh, let's see if we can copy this one down. Uh, this one again, you can see is cut incorrectly, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. You can see my bolts are hitting here also. So that's not going to work, so that's going to be an issue. So I'm going to leave it like that for now and I guess my next move is to see if I can bring this into advanced steel and what happens. Alright, take care.